Hey guys, what's up? This is McKenzie Chriswell here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at getting yourself and your film on the internet movie database. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that most of us know what IMDb is. It's probably one of the most useful tools for people inside of the industry and outside of it. Uh, you know, you go and say you want to know who was the star of the film, you know, who's starring in Christopher Nolan's film Interstellar. Um, Matthew McConaughey and Hathaway, as we could just see there, Jessica Chastan, this guy, a bunch of other people. Uh, it's very useful for, especially for people in the producer type of seat, um, because you can very easily just search for a film or a person, see all the work that they've done. Uh, you've got nice ratings if you go and find a film that's already been completed. You can, uh, you know, if you find a film that's already been completed, you can see what the IMDb community thought of it. Um, you know, this particular film is considered by the IMDb computer community to be the 10th best film ever made. So, you know, kudos to David Fincher there. But, um, I have already done a blog post about how to do this, um, how to get yourself and your film on IMDb a couple of days ago, and it explains it in pretty reasonable detail, um, but I just wanted to try to cater to as many different audience members as possible. I know, uh, depending on whether you've done this before and just can't quite remember how to do it, or this is your first time doing it, or just if you prefer to read or you prefer to watch a video, um, you know, we uh, it's just basically an attempt to cater to as many people's needs and wants as uh, you want as possible. So let's go ahead and jump into this and not waste any more time. Hopefully, I'll tip Command Alt D. Well, hide that dock. Give you some more uh, screen real estate, and let's get back to Safari. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're not going to need this page or this one. Uh, what we're going to need is a form on IMDb called the new title submission form. Here's the page where it starts out. If we just click right here, we've got the uh, IMDb adding a new title form. And it's just going to want some basic information about your film, enough credits to add it to the database, and uh, basically proof that the film exists. Um, this is not nearly as hard as it seems to be made out to be. Um, what people fail to realize a lot of times is that IMDb wants your film on their site. If you've actually made a film, they want it there. You know, they want to keep the most complete database of films ever created. So they want your film, but there are a few checkpoints you're going to have to go through in order to ensure to the audience, to the um, reviewers of the database that your film actually exists and that, uh, you know, it needs to be on the database. So, uh... I'll add a link to this uh, form right here, but if you ever just forget how to do it, a quick Google search isn't going to lead you in the wrong direction. So just click right there and uh, we're back to the exact same page. So this particular tutorial is just going to be strictly what is necessary to get your film into the database. Uh, of course, when you're first submitting the film, adding as many credits and as much information about it as possible is definitely not going to hurt. Um, when you're trying to get it reviewed and add it to the database. But for right now, we're going to be doing the bare minimum that we can do to get this film created. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I am submitting uh, a film. So I'm going to go ahead and click Film. Uh, this can be feature film, short film, documentary, basically anything that's not a video game or a TV uh, show or a YouTube video or whatever uh, can be added as film. So, I'm going to go ahead and type in the title. I'll use uh, Quentin Tarantino's new film, The Hateful Eight. And I believe it's set to come out. And uh, we'll just type that in. And uh, it's not yet completed. Um, so, we'll just go ahead and check that. And the year that it's going to come out, I believe it's set to come out in 2015. Doesn't really matter. We're not going to be submitting this. And uh, I'll just say that I am a director of the film. So. Alright, so it's going to want to know a little bit more information before it lets us to continue. Basically, whether it's a feature film or a short film, it's definitely going to be a feature film. 
and uh, that's all it wants now. It's going to want different types of information depending on what you click, but it's very straightforward. Go ahead and check those updates. Uh, so it's telling us that it already recognizes this film, and this is an error that you're going to run into, especially with short films, because for whatever reason, short films seem to always have the same name. Uh, you know, there's like a thousand short films called The Antagonist. There's, you know, all sorts of films like that. People aren't very original when they're creating short film names. But as long as you're positive that this is not already on here, uh, you just come down here and click, this is not an existing title. This is something new that I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and recheck those updates. Um, okay, so now it's gone ahead and accepted that this is a new film once. So let's go ahead and just get this started. So, uh... Let's say it's filming currently, my hateful eight is filming. Uh, we don't need to add a comment. Miscellaneous link. This is going to be the proof that it exists. So I'll just do. Um, uh, let's see. I'll make something up. Mystudio.com slash hateful, and this is going to be. Um, film press release, I guess. I don't really know. Um, so now we've got those basic, that basic information that we're going to need. Uh, next is going to want three basic identification informations. So I'll do language, it's going to be English, it's going to be in color, and I'll say it's going to be action. Uh, and we also probably want to add a director. You're going to normally want to add a director no matter what because if you don't add a director, uh, a lot of times it's going to be almost instantly deleted very quickly um, because that's a pretty clear sign that really it didn't happen. So let's go ahead and uh, type in a name. I'll go ahead and say that I'm directing this one. Um, they should The name should be submitted in last name, first name format. I'll go ahead and do it incorrectly to show you what I'm going to do if you don't insert it that way. And status, I am attached to be directing it, obviously, since it's filming. So, uh, production information. Uh, we've got budget we can add. We can add a, a official site, a distributor, a production company. I'll go ahead and add uh, my studio, Cinegini. MPC. You can add a new company from this point. The one thing that you want to keep in mind is you're going to need to put the country code in brackets. So this is a United States company. There's the name of it and the country code in brackets. Okay, and now it's, and the last thing it's going to want is three major credits. All right, so I'll go ahead and add a writer, a producer, and a cinematographer. And these are some more information that they're probably going to want. And you're probably going to end up adding it eventually anyways, which is why it's under recommended information. But for right now, we're going to say, you know, we don't have any of this locked down. This is all we have to go on. All right, so let's just go down until we see an error. Okay. Uh, it's filming. Good. That's green. Uh, it is going to check the URL. And uh, if it's an invalid URL, it will be rejected, but for right now, we'll just leave that as it is. Okay. Um, let's see, green, 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 good. Good. The director, okay, it's, like I said, it's going to want it formatted in first name, last name, so there we are, that's me. Production information, okay, this has been confirmed, the company. And now we need to add our credits real quick. So I'll go ahead and just add these credits. And I'll just put my name in for all of these. Seems like the easiest way to do it. And I'll go ahead and say that I am an executive producer. And recheck the updates again. All right, so you can see now up here we have the submit the up these updates button. And that just basically means it's seen everything, it's accepted, it's made it through the first pass of their check. And what's going to happen is it's going to add your film. And then it's going to add all the credits. Um, and all this information is just going to be added to your film. Um, and, uh, you know, all this technical information is just going to be added to the same page as your film. But what's going to happen is it's also going to add these credits to a new page if you had to create it. If you don't already exist on IMDb, it's going to create you a page. 
and then you can go in and edit it and we'll talk about editing it uh, in the next video so and uh, that is how you would go about submitting your film and yourself to the IMDb database. Uh, I'm Mackenzie Criswell and uh, I'll see you next time.